my life and everybody's life around me. So that alone should be enough for you to want to leave the streets or want enough for you to, you know, want to make your situation better. But it just stems from people don't want to be out here broke as hell and shooting guns and robbing and killing and mm. shit like that. So it's not going to happen overnight. Of course, it's not going to change overnight. But I think a way to stop a lot of this killing and a lot of this shit going on out here is to bring opportunity to have places like Overton where the kids, the youth, the troubled youth could grow up in a system where they don't have to pick up a gun when they turn 18 years old. Right. At 18 years old, they got a scholarship. They know what college they want to go to. They know if they want to play basketball. They know if they want to act. They know what they want to do. So they not outside on the corner picking up the wars that their fathers and their uncles left behind. You get what I'm saying? Mm. Um, they got to start them. So what about, first of all, I want to thank you for sharing your son the way that you do. Um, he is literally the cutest thing in the world. <laughs> so I want to know, once he kind of grows up a little bit more and understands more, how do you plan to explain to him about police brutality and racism and what's happening today? Um, I think my dad did a good job of really like getting me ready, prepared for the world before I was actually here to. So I'm going I'm to kind of use that same formula. I'm going to be honest with my son about the harsh realities of what's going on out there. You know, you don't want your kid to be naive about the world when they have to go out and face it. Um, so when my kid young, he's smart. He's smart as fuck. So he is, is,